Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a first impressions review tutorial on the new Morphe 24A Artist Past Artistry Palette. This packaging is so pretty. I love the like ombre. These are my kind of colors. So pretty. So today we're going to be kind of talking about everything you need to know about the palette. I give you a little tutorial on this look here. I'm also going to show swatches and everything. So pretty much everything you need to know about this guy here you'll find out in this video. So this palette is $38 Canadian or $29 US which is honestly a great price for this palette. The packaging is really nice. The best part of this is it actually comes with a mirror which is a little bit different for Morphe palettes. I can't think of another one that comes with a mirror. Definitely not many of them so that's a really nice added touch. This also claims to be a limited edition palette. There is a ton of different stuff kind of going on in here. The finishes in this palette are matte, iridescent, shimmer, and silk slip toppers. So obviously we know which ones are the mattes. They claim this one to be an iridescent pressed glitter. This one's an iridescent silk slip topper. This one's another iridescent uh, pressed glitter and then so is this one. These other glitters here are just regular pressed glitters. This lilac one here is the lilac silk slip topper. Lots going on. The one thing that kind of drew me into the palette the most, the reason I wanted it is for these pressed glitters. I love working with glitter but I hate working with loose glitter. It's just very messy and I just find that pressed glitters kind of give off a better effect on the eye. You can kind of see with the one that I have on today, it's very, like it describes, iridescent and it gives a much like more intense glow. They usually have a lot of different like tones in there. So I really like press glitters. They're also just like I said a lot easier to work with. You don't have the mess of loose glitters. I pretty much spill them every time I pull them out. They're beautiful but I feel like in the beauty industry we're kind of getting away from those loose glitters and a lot more brands are doing this press glitter formula. I'm very very picky with the press glitters. I've tried multiple ones. Some, if they're too like wet of a formula, they will crease all day long. If they're too dry, they're gonna crumble off your eyes or they're just not gonna be very vibrant. I find press glitter formulas to be a tricky formula to master. I'm gonna give you guys swatches of everything here so you can really get an idea of how they look. Some of them are a little deceiving, like this guy here. It looks like a like icy white and then when you swatch it, it's actually like blue. It's really really pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna do swatches for you guys real quick. There is the swatches for you. Overall, I think the palette is beautiful. I really like the arrangement of colors. You have some nice neutrals that you can pair with like these more neutral like glitters and stuff but you also have like a pop of color that kind of goes with a glitter as well which I think is fun. There's just a lot that you can do with this. I think it can be a really good palette for a variety of people because you do have those neutrals but pops as well. You have those glitters but you have like the shimmers like you have a little bit of everything. So if you're someone who's kind of wanting to get into colors or pressed glitters, like this is a good option. It's fairly affordable. The quality is great. I know a lot of people who don't wear color a lot, you don't want to buy a full color palette because you just can't justify it if you're not gonna use it that much. Where at least this one, you can justify it because you have those neutrals that you can use on the daily basis, but you also have a couple pops so that you can kind of like start branching out into color and also just testing out the pressed glitter formula. So far, I think this formula is really good. It's not too wet, it's not too dry, it's not crumbly. I definitely need to test out more of them because I've only used the one. But, I mean, I've had this makeup on for probably about an hour so far. There's no creasing, no fallout, nothing like that. I'm gonna do a wear test with this and see how it performs throughout the day. So I'll have that in the description box. How it all went, if anything changed, stuff like that. I'm also gonna be testing the, more of these shades throughout the next couple days and seeing if any of them are like kind of inconsistent or anything since this is just like a first impressions tutorial. But so far the shades that I use are so good. I went with obviously the brighter colors because I feel like neutrals are really easy to do. The colorful shades can be a little bit harder to master, but I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. You'll see in the tutorial, I struggled just a little bit blending like the purple into the pink. 
However, it didn't take me much time to fix that and in the end it gave a really nice like blended look. So I'm really happy with how the shades performed and how the look came out and the glitter and everything. I kind of went into this a little bit hesitant just because like I said I'm picky about the glitter formula and I've used many that just didn't, you know, perform the way I wanted them to, but I'm really, really pleased with it and I'm really excited to just use it more and play around with this. So I think it's a great palette, so many colors you can play with, great formulas, just so many textures to play around with. So I think if you've had your eye on this palette, I recommend picking it up. I think it's beautiful. I give this a thumbs up. I think it's a great palette and I'm so excited to use it more and do more tutorials with it and stuff like that. So now we're just going to get into the tutorial of the look that I'm wearing today. So I don't have my base on yet. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Eye Primer as my base. I've talked about this many times on my channel. I absolutely love this. So as you can see, I have my face makeup done already. So because I don't know how these shades are going to work out quite yet, I'm going to take a little bit of loose powder and just put it on my under eyes. Basically, it just acts as like a shield. And if there is any crazy fallout with these shades, the powder will kind of catch that and it'll be a lot easier to remove it. There is so many shades that I want to play with in here. So it's really hard to pick. But I think for this look, you guys already know I'm going for the brighter shades. So I think I'm going to play around with the pink, the purple, and this glitter here and kind of do like a halo eye. So I'm first going in with Max Volume, this beautiful bright pink here. I take this on a more precise brush and kind of like pack it into my crease and then blend out from there. Ooh, yes, she definitely has pigment. So yeah, I'm not really worrying about the blending too much right now. I'm really just focusing on getting the eyeshadow down and pigmented. Oh, she's pretty though. She's real pretty. I'm going to take a less dense brush, just a little bit of it so that I can kind of start blending it upwards and it'll kind of give that nice fade. I'm next taking a major inspo, which is this beautiful deep purple shade. And I'm doing a halo, like I said, so I'm applying this on the outer and the inner part of the eye and kind of leaving the center more bare. So I'm just taking this on a flat brush so I can kind of pack it on. Now this base really helps with fallout, but I am still really impressed with pretty much no fallout um, so far, especially with like the packing. Usually that's when I'll get some fallout from these kind of shades, but so far nothing. So that's really awesome. It's quite messy. I just really like to get the colors on there and then go ahead and work on all of the blending. Very, very pigmented. And I know purple shades are hard to make. So I'm really impressed with the intensity of this shade. It's not at all patchy or anything and normally purple shades tend to be. So now that we have the purple on, I'm taking some more of Max Volume, the pink shade, and just going to work on blending out these edges. So I'm having just a little bit of problems blending out the purple right here. It's not blending like I want it to. So I'm going in with the purple. I'm going to use that to kind of blend it into the pink. So I've got most of that purple blended out, but I'm going to go back in and add some more pink. So that's what we got going on so far. I know it's looking a little bit crazy, but things come together, I promise. I don't really want this to be like a full on halo. I kind of just want to put the glitter in the center of the lid and just kind of blend that out. So I think I'm going to take just a little bit of the pink shade and just kind of cover up that area just so that it has um, a little bit of color to go over. Now, if you wanted to do an actual halo, what I would do is now cut the crease with concealer and then have concealer where you want your glitter to be. But I just want this to be a little bit more like just blended out instead of a very precise kind of like halo eye. But that's up to your preference. Okay, so next we're doing the glitter. Now, I think the one that I've decided on because this is the one that stands out to me the most even though I really want to use pretty much every glitter in here is Invite Only. I don't know if you can see what that glitter looks like on camera, but it is 
so beautiful. It's like a more champagne, but when you put it in certain lighting, it has yellow, it has some kind of green, some gold in it. It's just really pretty. I was deciding between that one and like the pink one, but that one is just calling my name a little bit more. So we're gonna use that one today. I'm gonna try it out in two ways. I'm gonna do one eye with some glitter glue and one eye without. The idea of pressed glitters is that you don't need glitter glue with them. However, sometimes I find glitter glue is just better because it really ensures it's gonna stay all day. But I want to test it out with and without for you guys. I'm going to wear the makeup all day. And then in the description box, I'll have whether it works better with or without glitter glue. Or if there was even a difference. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, one eye I'm using the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is my favorite because it's like a nice creamy consistency. Basically, because I'm being a little bit messy, I'm just going to put it in the middle of my eye and just blend it outwards. And then I'm going to take the glitter on my finger and just apply it that way. We'll see how that goes. That is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at all those different colors in there. That is so pretty. So quite messy with that. I really just focus on the center, kind of blow it out a little bit. And then you can use your brush and blend out anywhere that's a little bit too much. But I'm pretty happy with the way that that is. It's going to be really eye-catching. That is such a beautiful glitter. I'm obsessed with that. So we're going to go in on the other eye. We're not going to use any glitter glue. I'm also going to try this one out with a brush so I can show you guys how it works that way. So I'm using this uh, Luxie 245. It's a small shader brush. Picks up a little bit product but definitely not as much as your finger would do. And then we're just going to pat that on. Now I've already noticed more fallout with this way. Could be because of the brush, could be no glitter glue, um, but a big chunk did fall. It's not on my face, but it kind of fell down. So brush definitely works. However, it's gonna take you a little bit more time. So for the sake of it, I'm gonna go in with my finger again. We'll see how this applies with no glitter glue. So that is that one with no glitter glue. It does adhere without the glitter glue. Um, but I feel like the glitter glue definitely makes it more intense and it makes it pop a lot more. So if you want a lot of intensity, the glitter glue is definitely going to give that to you. I would say definitely easier to blend without the glitter glue. So other than like the intensity of it, I don't find the glitter glue right now is making a big difference. There was a little bit more fallout when I used the brush, which is kind of expected. So the finger is definitely the best way to go for application wise. But other than that, this side is just a little bit more intense and has a little bit more product. Also, I don't even have like actual highlighter on right now. I just have it on my nose and my chin. But like my face is so glowy right now. And I'm kind of thinking of filming a tutorial on this like glowy makeup look that I've been doing because I love it. Like there's no highlight. So we're going to do the lower lash line really quick. I'm taking Max Volume, so that beautiful pink shade, and I'm going to smudge this all along the lower lash line with a pencil brush. And then I'm taking Major Inspo, which is that purple. I'm just taking it on like a flat brush, and I'm going to smudge that along like the lower lash line and kind of give that faded effect. There's the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with the Morphe Fashionista Eye Pencil. I'm going in with All Access. I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight. I'll take just a little bit of that on my brow bone as well. I'm going to apply my lashes off camera, but I'm going in with the Tiffany Teal Collection in Elizabeth. This is my favorite lash brand. They are incredible. The quality of them is so good. Obviously, I've used these a ton, but that is what the style looks like. I do also have a code with them. If you want to check them out, it'll be in the description box. So here is the finished look. I'm so obsessed with this. Like, this is just me in a look. I love it so much. I'm really happy with my choice of the glitter because it is so like eye catching and just really contrast with like the other shades is so perfect. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and the review. Hopefully it helped you decide if you want the palette or not because I think it's bomb. It's really, really good for the price. I'll have a full products list down below of like everything on my face today. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on my like glowy makeup look that I've been doing recently. Also, let me know if you guys want more tutorials 
tutorials with this palette because there is so many shades that I'm very excited to play around with and create looks with. They're so beautiful. The glitters just really take the look to the next level. So I really want to play around more with that. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing it. And like I did say, I'm going to give this like a wear test. I'm going to wear it all day just to see more so like how everything holds up with the glitter. So I'll have more information about like the wear test down in the description box. I'll also let you know down there if there was like any changes. If I didn't love something as much as I was in the video, um, I'm gonna continue to test out the palette and the shades and I'll also let you guys know if there's anything just kind of inconsistent and doesn't work. So yeah, check out the description box for more information. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.